This Diabetes Week, the diabetes.co.uk team wanted to find out how much the public really know about diabetes. We asked a group of people on the streets of Coventry if they believe you can get diabetes if no one else in your family has it. Um, I, I think there is an incline to be more likely, yeah. but you don't necessarily have to, like my mother has it and I don't. Yeah, so. that's a good answer. Yeah. Yes, you can. Yes. Um, I don't think there's any of the history of diabetes in my family. It's perhaps to do maybe with a bad diet in the first place. Uh, yeah, I think you can. Yeah, you can. <laughs> yes, because if you don't know how to control it, you can't. No. Yeah, thanks. Yes. There are several types of diabetes, and the risks of each are different. There are many different risk factors that affect how likely someone is to develop the condition, and a genetic risk is indeed one of them. If a close relative, like a sibling or parent, has type 2 diabetes, then you are more likely to develop it yourself later in life. However, even if you have no family members with the condition, it can still develop. An unhealthy lifestyle, ethnicity and even high stress levels and blood pressure can all affect the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Type 1 diabetes is a different matter. There is very little known about what causes it or what the risk factors are. Some people have a genetic predisposition towards developing the condition, but there is no firm understanding of what influences its development.